Faith in the drive for progress is pushing the development of AI. Billions of dollars are being spent for the presumed advancements. Elon Musk has expressed his grave concerns over the unchecked development of AI. I don't know, except to say that the, by the time these lawsuits are decided, we'll have digital God. So, ask, ask digital God at that point. The technology is widely used in image editing software, often with startling results. I recently found a site that uses specially trained AI to create DX7 sounds. Since the Yamaha DX7 is a complex 32 algorithm synthesizer, it would be a challenge for AI to program. How do the AI generated patches compare to Off the Matrix? Since people like the great realism of AI images, I expected the AI generated DX7 sounds would have the same attention to detail, not sounds that are no more realistic than Pac-Man. Apparently, the creators had a low expectation of what the DX7 could do. The results are so mediocre. That's the only reason I can imagine why they made the software available. One of my objectives is to encourage people to stop putting faith in tech progress and discover what they can do with the tools they already have. Free your mind. But the culture of toxic consumerism is a wave that runs against my effort. Many guys just collect synths for fun. A synth is like an expensive toy, but I work my butt off to get sounds from vintage instruments that have a realism that go beyond anything that came from the factory. I found this post on a Yamaha musician's forum. Diva Lopo 7 wrote, this proves my point that Yamaha makes these products, but has no idea how to use or program them. At first, I didn't realize my sounds for the DX7 were the proof of his point. The previous post had a link to my demo of the DX7. He went on to say, Egghead engineers don't translate over into musical instruments by default or know how to interact with them. The AI generated patches are a good example of the automated stupidity that is rampant on the internet. Films like The Terminator have shaped public opinion of AI. But AI is not dangerous as a threat of a superior intelligence. It's more of a problem of amplified stupidity. No, I, no I problem. Show me pictures of spaghetti. For example, I noticed the names of the patches do not have names like brass or guitar. Apparently, the AI was just given data 
without a framework of goals. The training code used Yamaha factory presence and material from the web. But there's a problem there. The two programmers only had four days to create the original 128 factory patches. Because they were rushed, the algorithms they used were often not the best choice for a given sound. The patches I usually find are built on the rush foundations. When people talk about AI, they usually are talking about what is called machine learning. A programmer actually sets the parameters to reach a goal. So in the case of the DX7, it could be given data of different patches with a goal. For example, for a brass patch, it could have been given algorithm 16 as a framework to reach a goal. Then the AI could run through different settings within the algorithm 16 within the useful ranges set by the programmer. It's just an automated process. The effectiveness of AI comes down to the quality of data that went into it and the intelligence of the person who programmed it. A computer can only imitate what we put into it. It's not surprising that the results of the AI-generated DX7 sounds were like a monkey at a typewriter. The poor quality of the patches was a re reflection of the limited view of what the DX7 could really do. I'm reminded of the ignorance of the executives of Xerox. The engineers of Xerox developed the first computer mouse. But when the mouse was presented to the top brass, they were too stupid to appreciate what the engineers had designed. <laughs> you want Xerox to consider something called a mouse? Since Xerox did not want the mouse, Steve Jobs was able to take it and use it for the Macintosh. Companies are still ignorant of the quality of what they have produced. We went through that stage in Apple where we went out and we thought, oh, we're going to be a big company, let's hire professional management. We went out and hired a bunch of professional management. It didn't work at all. Most of them were bozos. They, they knew how to manage, but they didn't know how to do anything. And so if you're a great person, why do you want to work for somebody you can't learn anything from? So the development of AI is due to the ignorance of people in business that have no creativity, no talent in the arts. I don't mean art in a snob sense. A carpenter or an electrician are artisans. Inside the casing of every Macintosh were the signatures of the team that created the computer. To affirm the individuals who developed it, not the corporation. Today, corporations have aimed to replace people with AI or robo-bozos. There's over a half a million homeless people in the U.S. A human being has so much more potential than an automated algorithm. But blind faith in mechanical mysticism drives the confusion of the culture. I hope to start a small company to counter the course of the singularity. So if you like this, be sure to subscribe.